بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله it's important for us to always try our best to come close to Allah عز وجل and to have a positive non-pessimistic attitude towards the acceptance of our worship that we shouldn't be negative we should always be positive and strive our best even when we know that we are disobedient, but we need to come and strive to come closer to Allah And this is a part of tawakkul of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of drawing near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by putting your trust in Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as the scholars mention a tawakkul of Allah, this is al-i'timad al Allah wa fi'l asbab. That this is to uh, rely solely uh, upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and making effort. So for example, the person who wants his or her risk to be increased, that they need to strive by doing business or strive by finding work and strive to find work if they're unable to find work and then put their trust solely in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, putting their heart, leaving their heart with Allah azza wa jal, that, that their affair is going to be rectified and that their risk will be increased. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitabihi al kareem وَأُفَوِّدُ الْأَمْرِ إِلَى اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَصِيرٌ بِالْعِبَادِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah, uh, surah Ghafir, uh, uh, Ghafir, verse 44 and 45, He subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأُفَوِّدُ أَمْرِ That I, I give my, my affair, I leave my affair uh, with Allah. Verily, Allah uh, sees in totality his servants. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fully aware. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees everything and is fully cognizant of our affairs. Tabarak wa ta'ala. And what we learn from this ayah, we see the importance of leaving our affairs with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That we should strive our best to put our trust in Allah. And this is advice first and foremost to myself and then to my brothers and sisters in Islam that we need to strive and put our most uh, and put our trust, our heart, with Allah Azza wa Jal when it comes to having our affairs rectified. And this is why the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam said in the hadith of Abi Huraira, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Yuqulullahu ta'ala, Ana inda dhan abdi bih. وَأَنَا مَعَهُ إِذَا ذَكَرَنِي وَإِذَا ذَكَرَنِي فِي نَفْسِهِ ذَكَرْتُهُ فِي نَفْسِي وَإِنْ ذَكَرَنِي فِي مَلَا ذَكَرْتُهُ فِي مَلَا إِنْ خَيْرٍ مِنْهُ وَإِنْ تَقَرَبَ إِلَيَّ بِشِبْرٍ تَقَرَبْتُ إِلَيْهِ ذِرَاعٍ وَإِنْ تَقَرَبَ إِلَيْهِ ذِرَاعٍ تَقَرَبْتُ إِلَيْهِ بَاعٍ وَإِنْ أَتَانِي يَمْشِي أَتَيْتُهُ حَرْوَلَا And this is a hadith in uh, Bukhari. In this hadith, this hadith of Qudsi, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Allah says, I am just as my slave thinks I am. And I am with him if he remembers me. If he remembers me to himself, I too remember him to myself. And if he remembers me in a group of people, I remember him in a group that is better than they. And if he comes one span nearer to me, I go one cubit nearer to him. And if he comes one cubit nearer to me, I go a distance of two outstretched arms nearer to him. And if he comes to me walking, I come to him running. This is in Bukhari. Ahabatifillah, this shows us that you're not forgotten. And that by putting your trust in Allah Azza wa Jal and coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seeking to draw nearer to Allah Azza wa Jal, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come closer to you. So if you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by making dhikr to yourself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remember you 
and will assist you and aid you. And if you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by giving da'wah to others, reminding them that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remember you in a greater gathering of the malaika. And if you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by seeking to draw nearer to him, uh, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come closer to you. So the more effort you put into drawing nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more success you will have with Him, tabarak wa ta'ala. So this shows us the importance of husn al billah, of having a positive, uh, unpessimistic view of Allah azza wa jal, that we should be positive and we should have hope for His mercy and hope that He accepts our tawbah and our repentance and hope that He accepts our obedience to Him. But that means what? That means we need to have obedience to Allah. And that means we have to make tawbah to Allah. That means we have to seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if we remain in a state of disobedience to Allah, then we're not being sincere with ourselves and we're not being sincere with Allah. And if we remain without making tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the many sins that we commit, then we're remaining away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it shows a, a lack of sincerity on our part. So in order to gain the benefit of having Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving you assistance, uh, assistance in everything that you're trying to do and achieve and having his forgiveness and having his reward and having him make your affairs easy, then you have to seek to draw nearer to him. You have to put your trust sincerely in him subhanahu wa ta'ala and leave your affairs with him tabarak wa ta'ala by making righteous effort by seeking to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ikhlas with thabat ala sunnah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to draw nearer to him with open hearts and by doing good deeds and do good actions and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with sincerity that our deeds may be accepted by him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.